Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today I wanted to show you how to make a lovely little treat box. Um, this has been uh, designed for um, a friend who wanted a, a box that specifically measured three inches by two inches by one inch. Um, so I, I put that together for her, but obviously by the fact that it is such a nice small size, it is, as you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand quite happily. It's ideal for all sorts of little goodies and treats and things. And it, um, if I can pull this ribbon off, I'll show you how it opens. Uh, can I get the ribbon off? There we go. It opens from top to bottom so it opens like that so it's the same principle as what I made the other day but that opened in that direction so it was a landscape this one's a portrait version so I'm going to because I know lots of my uh, viewers seem to like centimeters as well as the inches so I'm going to do this one in inches but I will tell you the measurements in metric as well so the cardstock measures nine inches by four inches which is 22 and a half centimeters by 10 centimeters and the scoring in inches comes at one inch, four inches, five inches and eight inches. And in metric that's two and a half, ten, twelve and a half and twenty centimetres. And turning it around, scoring again at one inch and at three inches. And that would be two and a half centimetres and seven centimetres. There you go, covering everybody. Let me move that out of the way. And it's quite quick to put together. Uh, you just snip up the sides, all of these score lines that, uh, that are these little miniature boxes, little squares. You just snip up all of those. Oops. far enough. And I'm just going to fold this up. I want to make sure these side ones are burnished over. And this is a nice small box as I said before. And actually you could make it in cardstock or actually you could make it in designer series paper as well. The principle with card is that the bigger the box or the bigger the, the box you want it to be, the heavier the cardstock you would need to be. So a small box wouldn't need heavyweight cardstock, so you could make it with design series paper. And we have such beautiful papers and they are so thick um, that, yeah, that would be no problem. So there's some Tombow on these sections here. Tombow, as I've said before, Quick drying, but room for manoeuvre and error. There's some more down here. Just fold up the sides. That would be an email coming in. <laughs> I've got my PC on next to me. If it's not my phone chirping during videos, it'll be my PC. Hold the front up and hold those in place. Oops. I'm trying to do this quickly because I'm well aware that um, you know 10-15 minute videos are, are not the best. They can get a little tedious, so I'm trying to do this quickly. So that's the box made. Now these ones over here, I've decorated. You can see it better on this one. I've decorated the top and all four. Of, there you go. There's my phone now chirping. Um, all of the sides, but actually I'm just going to decorate the top. And I'm a little bit addicted to polka dot parade at the moment. It was actually one of my girls, Elaine. Um, she's completely enabled my purchase of that. And um, it was seeing her box creations that made me choose to go out and, and put this in my wish list and buy it as well. And you can kind of see why it's so beautiful. There's 12 sheets, 12 big 12 by 12 sheets you get. Um, uh, real red, tangerine tango, daffodil delight, old olive, Marina Mist and Rich Razzleberry. So they've got the polka dots on one side and then they've got the uh, white circles on the other. And they're just lovely. I just, I think they're gorgeous. I can see myself, you know, populating an awful lot of videos with those. So I'm only, just for the purposes of videos, just gonna put a little bit on the top. And this measures in inches, uh, two and three quarters by one and three quarters. And then the side panels that, if you wanted to put those on, would be uh, 
uh, let me try and remember this way around, one and three quarters by three quarters, two and three quarters by three quarters, and then in centimetres, seven centimetres by four and a half, uh, two by four and a half, and two by seven. I think that's right. There we go. And there was some ribbon. Just want to tie this closed. And then I've got a piece of cardstock that measures two and a half centimetres by six and a half centimetres. So I think that was one inch by two and a half inches. And I, the, I love the stamp set that I've put on here. It's called Occasions Alphabet. And I've looked in the catalogue and I knew I liked it, but I wasn't sure how much use I would get out of it. And um, I saw it on a couple of projects on other people's blogs. And then my upline... Um, she gave me a little gift that had one of the sentiments on it and I just thought it's perfect it's a really really good size so I decided I was going to have to get it and I've actually chosen although I've put friend over here and Y is for you I'm actually going to put B is for baby because this is just a lovely little it's a lovely colour for a baby boy and I just thought it was a nice size for a little gift so with the matching marina mist ink I'm going to see if I can get this lined up Oh, let's take it with me. There we go. B is for baby and bouncing and beautiful. Lovely. And then I want to pen at the ends. So I've got my one inch square uh, punch. Let's see if I can get this as perfect as possible. Not bad. And then I'm going to punch a hole. I've got to get my hole punched now. Lost it. Can't see it. I'll have to use this one. So I'm going to punch a little hole in the top. There we go. Feed that through here. And you can put all sorts of sentiments on it. Obviously it depends on who you're giving the gift to. Or you could even make a whole pile of boxes and put gifts in, or put them ready for gifts. You know, these are great, these would be great on a Christmas tree, wouldn't they? And Christmassy paper. I know some people like to have tree gifts, don't they? That would be good. Make plenty of these in advance. So, there we go. Three lovely little boxes. This one now miss, missing its tag. Very quick and simple and easy to make. And I hope you like them. If you want to know how to get hold of any of the supplies, just drop me a line. I can, uh, I'm can. i obviously a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and everything that I've used um, is available through me. So thank you very much for watching. And please do send me your pictures of, of boxes and things that you've made. And I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.